Hey gals and guys, it's Christopher Mosier from MyMediaHelper.com and I was just going to sit down here at this here table and go over a couple of uh, Dell laptops, two-in-ones. I got a little downtime, so I might as well review and uh, tell you what I think about these. First off, um, there's nothing wrong with the functionality of either of these computers. They both work the same. They're Windows 10. They're both 16 uh, gig RAM. Uh, they work fine. The question is not the matter of them working. It's just a matter of the design. So this here is a, a 72, a Latitude 7200. And then I also got a, uh, a Dell Latitude um, 5300. I wrote it down over here to remind myself. And overall, let me go through the 7200 first, just because I'm not um, overly crazy with the design. And I'm going to show you how they designed it. Um, so... It's a two-in-one, which so uh, with two-in-ones, it's right. It's both a, a, a laptop and a pad. Uh, same with this steel. All right, spin it around, and there's a pad. So you got your 5300, you got your 7200. All right. Let me flip this back around. Got my finger, got my fingerprints all over it. All right. So the thing with this is, it's like there's a metal plate back here that holds it up and I don't particularly like that because that metal plate that's gonna bend I mean <laughs> just I don't know if you could tell I can just bend it without even trying if you're putting in like a backpack or if you if you're kind of rough housing your computer I mean I'm not saying rough house your laptop but come on we when we use our laptops we're, we're tossing them here and there and, um, we'd like a durable laptop this just isn't this bass back piece doesn't seem to be durable at all but it does hold it up pretty nicely right it's pretty good and, and the keyboard is very very extremely thin um, which is a cool deal too and there's a camera on this side one on this side too and it's pretty I'll fire it up in a minute it also comes with a different kind of cord uh, let me it's not like your standard cord it's like the newer, thinner cords like that. And then for kind of the older Dells, the older laptops, they got those, those thick-ass ones. Same power pack as far as the uh, main unit there. Just the connections are a bit off. So this is the 7200. This is the 5300. Just to show I mean, it's not that big deal. Power is power. We like power, don't we? Yes, we do. I'll put that over there for now. So it's just basically this that I can't stand. And you can do it is touch screen, so you can do it like this. You can do it like this. Or you can just close it and use it as a desktop. Which most people do now. Anyways, I prefer desktops. Um, just cause, but now that there's like docking stations and stuff like that, um, I don't know. Desktops are um Kind of phasing out, I guess. That probably my next deal will be uh, probably a laptop and a desktop. And you can see right here as well. So you can see right here, I'm not sure, there's like a little dent right there, a little indentation. So again, it's design. It's design. And although this is this is pretty lightweight compared to this one, actually, there's a really not much of a difference. Um, with the 5300s, I'm not sure as far as the screen size is concerned. All right, so the screen of the, the uh, 5300s is a little bigger. So we'll fire that up in just a minute, and we'll get to the, the 5300. So the Dell uh, 5300 2-in-1, it's just, it seems more du durable. It is plastic. Um, it's not metal like this deal is. I really don't like that. I don't know if you can hear that. It's just, it's, it seems cheapo to me. I don't, I don't know if it's just me or not. This is just very, um, the way it swings is very tight. There's a tight feel to it. It's nice. So it's like, no matter what you do, it's going to stay in its position. And then, you know, you got your, um, you got your pad. And then it holds up pretty tight there too, if you just want to use it as a laptop. So if I was to give my opinion, either though the 5300 is kind of an older model, and it's bigger and it's clunkier in modern standards, I guess. Um, this is a lot thinner, a little lighter, just not not incredibly lighter, a little smaller. 
So I would definitely um, choose this one. I would choose the 5300 over the 7200 just for all those factors. Again, this is not based on the functionality. These both function the same. There's no difference. Dells in HPs, no matter what you get, the functionality is very similar. It's the design, the keyboard, it's the design, the entire package uh, that comes into question. I mean, with any of these computers. And it's a nice thin keyboard. I got mutant hands. And um, I don't know, it would take me some time to get used to that, I guess. Both of them are fine. So let's power these up and take, take a look, shall we? I'm not sure what the price points are on these, so I'll have to look them both up. But anyways, I have both cords here. They're all lit up, you can tell they're powered, right? This one's got a little cute little light, and this one's got a big little light. So let's just put that one in there, and we'll fire this up. This one, and we'll fire this up. Do, 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 Turn on computer. Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> Wonder what those things are on the side here. Okay. There's <laughs> definitely user error. So the power's right up here. Ooh. All right. And that's going to dial up and this one. Uh, okay, with no issues, machine will restart. Uh, Let's see if I can get them both in the same shot. That's going through its cycling. This has been imaged before. This is uh, fresh out of the box, and it's both going to do their same thing. So as you can see, um, if you can tell there, the thickness of, of this, this is really um, extremely thin, probably. I wouldn't reckon, reckon a guess um, how thin that is. Maybe that's a quarter of an inch, maybe not even a quarter of an inch, and that's really, 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 really thin. So, um, yeah, let's see what happens when these babies fire up. So this one has, um, this is the uh, 5300. It's got, it's got uh, USB, it's got HDMI, and then fire the fire cable right there. Another HDMI over here. And it's got... Uh, for earphones, it's got a place for a lock. If you need to lock it. And then over here on the um, 70, 7200, we've got one USB, another place to lock the computer, and then your, your fire wire. So this is more, um, this would be more intended for a dock. This uh, can go mobile and you can put more devices into it, which nowadays, right? We have docks and everything, so it's not really a big deal. And we're going to continue. Let that go. How are we doing here? All right, we're going to continue and let that go. All right, and the mouse is um, more pronounced. This kind of slides very nicely, though, the 7200. This is kind of nice, too. And then the buttons are more um, 
more apparent than this. You can either push down. This one you can't push down uh, like you would a mouse. You'd have to use these two buttons. This one you can usually, you can use um, the two buttons on the end here as your left and right, or you can push down um, on the pad itself to make your entry like you would a left click of a mouse. And I don't think these will fire up. And then this one just needs, needs to be imaged, so I won't be able to get into Windows on that particular one. And um, just waiting on this one. <laughs> and continue. And either this one, not I'm reading a wired connection. Because they're off network. So. All right. Both these computers need to be imaged. This isn't about, this was never about functionality anyway, so. All right. All right, gals and guys. I just thought uh, if you were interested, I'd make a comparison, at least a design comparison, uh, quickly between the 5300 and the 7200. Um, this is very warm. I can tell you right now, these are both powered on at the same time. This is not at all. This is very cool. This metal is very, very warm. It's not the metal, it's the plastic part. That's weird. So if that's a determination for you, it's a it's a winter day and you need to warm up. Just put this laptop, the 7200, on your face. Uh, 5300. It's warm down here um, on the bottom. So that's unusual. I don't know. I never noticed that before. Both good computers. It's just design. It's just preference. And I just wanted to make a comparison between the two. If this was helpful, gals and guys, then I appreciate it. And please, I should say, subscribe. And then I would appreciate it. I went in the wrong order there. Uh, certainly share if someone's looking for a laptop and they're not really sure what kind they want to get. Um, please like if you like this. Hit the bell for updates, and I will catch you later with some more. I'm going to open some more here, sit at this table, and have some coffee in between, uh, in between stuff.